Hello, and welcome to the Kick Rocks Cooking Show. Why do I call it the Kick Rocks Cooking Show? Because I make insanely easy recipes around here, and if you don't like anything I'm doing, you can scroll on and kick rocks. Today is Wednesday, that's hump day, so we're making margaritas. Well, honey margarita pork. We're gonna start out with a bag of peppers and onions, and people keep asking me if I make any recipes that don't have peppers and onions in them, and the answer is probably no. But if you don't like peppers and onions, you can just leave them out. To that, we're gonna add three pounds of country style pork ribs. As, as always, you can use any kind of boneless pork. This is just the one that I like to use. I told you guys that almost everything I was cooking this week had chili seasoning in it. And this is the third recipe this week that has chili seasoning in it, so. Don't judge me. You're gonna put two packets of chili seasoning into your Instant Pot. Gonna add a cup of margarita mix. This is the non-alcoholic. And half a cup of honey. But first, someone told me that if you spray your measuring cup before you measure sticky substances, they slide right out of the measuring cup. So we're gonna try it out. So like I said, half a cup of honey. And it is not sliding right out. But they were talking about peanut butter, so maybe it works better with peanut butter. But with honey, it does not slide right out. I probably should have done the margarita second, because then I could have rinsed out the measuring cup with the margarita mix, but it's fine. All right, I'm going to struggle to get my Instapot lid. I did not struggle to get my Instapot lid on this time. I'm going to close it up, and I'm going to set it to meat stew, which is an hour. And I know I say this every time, but make sure you toggle this to ceiling because I have done it so many times and then wondered why it wasn't coming to pressure. So I'll come back in an hour. Somebody asked me yesterday if I natural release or quick release. I always quick release, even if I probably shouldn't, but this time I was fine. It's silly, but I get so excited. Also, I've been thinking about mentioning this too. Um, I always do the pressure setting for at least an hour and I wondered if possibly that felt odd to some people because Instapot cooking is supposed to be quick but when you think about it in terms of the fact that most of these recipes come out with super shredded up meat it is super quick because you get the same like shreddiness that you would get from having this in the crock pot like all day long so I'm just kind of shredding this up with the spoon and it's just falling apart like it should <laughs> that is so good okay i'm gonna serve mine on street tacos i really like the street tacos because they're a lot thicker than regular tortillas and someone told me a trick for the sour cream last time um they saw me shaking my spoon to get it off and they were like, hey, you know, if you just put the sour cream on the tortilla first and spread it, then you get sour cream in every bite. And I was like, done. So we're going to put some of our pork on our tortilla. I said tortilla weird. It's one of those things where I'm starting to have said it so many times that it sounds weird when I say it. And I'm going to do half a piece of provolone on each one of these. And today was a lucky day and there were ripe avocados available at the grocery store. So I'm going to slice this up. So let's taste it. I know I say this every time but that is so good. <laughs> And I serve anything relatively Mexican um, with yellow rice. And I just make it in the rice cooker. So you put everything that the box says to put and then you put it in the rice cooker and you don't have to worry about it burning. And I also serve mine with kidney beans with a little bit of taco seasoning because my kids don't really like black beans. But that's our dinner for tonight. As always, let me know if you try it and how you like it.